What's going on everybody? This is Boca Bearings bringing to you a wheel bearing install on the new Traxxas XRT. Obviously I am recording this after the bearings have been installed. Um, just to go over tools that you'll need today, you need just a small flathead. You will need a two and a half millimeter um, Allen key as well as a two millimeter, which also in our Boca Bearing RC toolkit does come in They're fully adjustable. You can move them up or down. So in case you need them to be uh, taller or shorter, really awesome toolkit. And then of course, a work mat is always very helpful. Um, well, enjoy the video and let us know what you think. Alrighty. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull off this little C-clip right here. Just take a flat head. and pry up carefully so it doesn't fly. So there's the little C-clip. And then what's gonna happen is, if you don't have your wheel nuts on there like I do, you're gonna pull off this little hub, little plastic hub right here. And then next, we are gonna take our two millimeter, whether you're on a gun or just a hand tool, your two millimeter Allen, Pull out this little screw. Okay. And then on the other side here, you're just gonna pop the pin right out. Pin. And then this just drops. Axle comes loose. And the entire hub and axle comes out. The bearings are right here. So we're gonna take our Yellow Seal Ceramic Hybrid, which is really good for uh, off-road trucks. Put those there. Simply pop out the back bearing. Take the new one, pop it right in. And then pop out the smaller bearing any way you'd like. Using a finger is probably the easiest way. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the new one. Okay, uh, me personally, I am switching over from orange to green. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna swap these over and then I'll go ahead and put this back together for you guys. Now that the new hub, for, at least for myself, is on, we're just gonna put the hub back in through the bearings. Put the axle into the cup. Take our pin. Put the pin straight back through. Take our little screw. Screw back in, not too tight. And then to replace the plastic hubs, I do have these aluminum hubs straight from Traxxas. Slide that on like that. And then we're gonna take the clip, if I can pick it up here. Take the clip, put it in that groove, slide it down, and then if you want, you can take the flathead that you originally used to push it right back on it once it clips on, and then take your wheels and, and essentially you would put your wheels back on. Um, I am not going to because there are other modifications to this truck that we're going to do. Um, but so there you go, finished. Bearings are installed in the rear. Now let's go ahead and let's get to the front. Back here to the front. Uh, steps are, are almost similar. There's one extra, um, one extra bolt that we have to pull out. So I'm gonna start again by going ahead and taking off the little C-clip right here. Pull off our wheel lug or wheel nut, whatever you guys wanna call it. Pull off the, um, I guess the wheel mount. That's what the wheel mounts on. 
And then same thing with this pin right here with the two millimeter. And then for this one, you are also going to have to swap out the two millimeter. And we're gonna use a two and a half. And the two and a half is gonna pull out the um, this top bolt right here. Uh, that looks like it holds one of the arms with a knuckle in it. So you go ahead, pull that out. And then same thing. Oh, I forgot the pin. Don't forget that, push the pin out. Pin comes right out. And then kind of the same thing. It's just gonna fall forward. And then pulls right out. So same thing for these. Uh, actually this bearing ended up falling out you can kind of see it let me zoom in for you guys the bearings are going to be in this um, cup right here so the interior bearing has fallen out I'm trying to do this as kind of like a one take so that you guys understand what goes into it uh, without any editing or, or you know because you are going to run into issues of course, everything has issues here and there. Uh, so the bearing is out, same thing. Let's get this little bearing out and then replace it with the yellow seal. And replace the big bearing with the other yellow seal. And you are all good to go on the front. The front bearings are replaced. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna swap out this orange uh, axle end for the uh, green one as well, and then I will be right back. Alrighty, now that I have my um, axle end swapped back, going to install it, um, put, the, put the hub in, and then put the axle in. and then reinstall just as you installed. Make sure the bearings are still in there. Go ahead, put this pin back through. Take the bigger screw. Sorry, trying to do this at a weird angle. So once you get that screw positioned, Go ahead, get it back down. Get that tightened. Swap out your two and a half to your two. And then we're gonna put put that back on. And then going back to um, the hub. Again, I am swapping mine out for aluminum. Pop that right back on. And take the, take the little C-clip. And we're gonna put that right back on, just like that. So again, um, we're trying to do this as fluid as possible, but at the same time, trying to give everybody realistic expectations, um, just to show how things kind of work. Um, but yeah, super easy install. Super easy install for super awesome truck. Um, these things really fly. They're really great to handle and really great to use. Uh, BocaBearings.com for all your bearing needs.